Tottenham versus Manchester City this Friday night under the lights at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Who will make it through uh, to round five? You have to beat the best to be re the best. So stay tuned to the very end. <laughs> What is happening people and welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here don't forget to smash that subscribe button because it ultimately free to do so and it helps the channel grow if you like you'll see throughout today's video leave a like uh, most importantly get involved in the comments because your opinion matters here at the channel turn the notifications bell on to keep up to date with all my content uh, 24 7 so let's crack straight into it. Manchester City under the lights top the stadium uh, this Friday so today uh, and I'm personally going so I'm really really looking forward to it it won't be easy but you often hear saying you know you have to beat the best to be the best, and, and this is true, you know. Um, if we beat Man City, do I believe we can win the FA Cup? Yes, I believe we have a good chance we take it seriously. My only regret from this season, under Ange Postecoglou, is that Carabao Cup second round against Fulham, if we're taking it more seriously. But I think he learned from that against Burnley, so obviously I expect a really strong lineup. It's a big boost for us. Uh, that Madison is back, etc. I don't know whether he'll start, but uh, I definitely think they will be at least on the bench. So let's crack straight into the team. I'm um, talking through my team. So I'd, I'd have Vicario in goal. I'd have a Doggy left back, Poro right back, and obviously Van der Ven and Romero uh, centre back, strongest defence available. Midfield, here's where it gets interesting. Madison's available, so he won't play the whole game, but I would start him. But I don't think he will. I think he'll start on the bench. So my predicted lineup. Um, so we go to that midfield will be Kulisevsky. Benton Court and Hoiberg. Then we go Werner, left wing, Richardson down the middle, and Brennan Johnson on the right. Let me know what you would change if they're available in the comments below, if it was available. I'd probably put James Madison in um, and move Kulusevsky to the right. No disrespect to Johnson, but I think it'd be best used off the bench. But that's only if he is fully fit. I don't want to risk Madison unless we absolutely have to. But it's a big game. It's going to be a great atmosphere, so I hope to see some of you down there. Uh, now to predicted score. I'm feeling positive. I'm going to go with 2-1 Tottenham. Reminder for people who don't know already, if it ends a draw, because it's still the fourth round, and it's the same rule for the third and fourth round, it will not go to extra time or penalties. It will go straight to a replay. We, we won't, you know, we, we don't want to replay. We don't want the extra games uh, at all. Um, we're, we're saying that without Europe, thinking hopefully Europe next season, you know, we, <laughs> you don't want that. Um, so, you know, we don't, we don't want it this season. Um, we're still with players coming back, etc. We want to focus on the league, focus on the FA Cup. We don't really want that replay. Uh, as we can get it done tonight, it'd be great. It won't be easy. So just as long as we go up, you know, as long as we give 110%, give it everything. It won't be easy. Obviously, De Bruyne are back. We saw how he changed the game, turned zero points into three when he came on at St. James's Park. Two one down when he came on, one three two. 2 um, Haaland will miss this game. Pep Guardiola has confirmed it. He's getting close to being back, but he's, this is too soon for him. So that's obviously a big relief to us. However, having said that, I think Van der Ven and Romero physically will be able to cope with Haaland. De Bruyne does scare me, though, the space that we uh, can give him if we play high. So we have to check out on that one. I'm going to go with 2-1 Spurs. Uh, I think Brennan Johnson will get two, actually. I think this is his kind of game, and I think he'll get a lot of space. And I think he'll be really, really effective. And for City, consolation. Um, I'm going to go Kevin De Bruyne. I think it'll be an excellent game. Um, I think City go into its favourites. We go into it fairly close, obviously, then without Haaland and us. You know, without Son, Saab, Suma, key players as well. So it'll be really interesting. One month, all the neutrals we're looking forward to. Um, so hopefully see some of you down there tomorrow. But if you are new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button because it's ultimately free to do so. And it helps the channel grow, as I explained at the start of the video. If you like your scene, leave a like. Most importantly, get involved in the comments. Because uh, your opinion matters here at Scarfy Spurs. Welcome while you're here. Turn the notifications bell on. It saves you time. Keep you up to date with Tottenham content 24-7, including daily Spurs updates from now until the end of the window. Keeping you always up to date about the copy you love, Tottenham Hotspur. But as we always say, come on you Spurs. Let's hope we can win. But it's, you know, let's be very clear here. It's a big one. Oh!